the month of March is over and in the month of March there was a bounce in the market which was pretty good solid bounce which happened and a lot of stocks which went up 20% plus. Now if you look at our setup idea, our setup idea is momentum burst where we are looking for a continuation setup. But the continuation setup was one of the setups which worked in this market condition last month but they were also a variation of a bottom bounce kind of setup and many of them didn't look like a conventional bottom bounce so in order to study that here is a deep dive which I'm going to do this weekend and I just want to run you through that deep dive to just like give you an idea if some of you want to do the similar kind of a study uh, and this is how you deepen your understanding of the market or you develop a set of idea which you may not have thought about uh, so let's look at like and how I'm going to do this and in order to do this I'm going to go to the tele chart and show you this. So when you go to the tele chart now what happens is that in the tele chart uh, we have the study 20% plus. So in the study 20% plus I'm going to be changing the para uh, parameters uh, from like and I say just for within uh, now to within x bars and that within x bars is 25. So that means it is going to cover the entire month. So I'm going to look at stocks. Uh, there are like 771 stocks showing up here now and at some stage during this particular month these stocks went up 20% plus. It might have been a move for one day or three days or five days uh, but they went up. 20% plus and many of them went up even more than 20% plus. So the setup uh, which how many of our kind of setups like two lynch kind of setups we are there in this kind of a period is what I want to study and also to study the variation of a bottom bounce basically and when you look at this what you are going to find is you are going to find setups some of them like look like this. So where would it show up in your scan? Uh, will it show up at the right kind of a place uh, for you to get into this uh, something like this because it didn't close near the high it's not going to show up but it will show up in 9 million and so on and so forth but the setup which I am most interested during this time period is some of the classical tool inch setup right and this was a classical tool inch setup so those are the kind of setups which showed up but in addition to these kind of setups which showed up there are other kind of setups also which showed up which were not really clean two lynch kind of a setup. In this case, the problem is this was actually the 4% breakout, right? But at that day, you're not going to look at it. But here from this, just in two days, like and it is up 27%. But this is a classical two lynch kind of a setup, right? Uh, that's like an, a, a very first leg orderly. So I'm going to study some of these things for my own personal study, right? I'm going to do this study for my own personal study because sometimes we get carried away by the market conditions and we make a hypothesis uh, that the market conditions are not right and we don't really pay attention to individual setups. So there are a lot of classical tool inch kind of setup in this month, especially in the oil and gas stocks or some of the commodity stocks and which worked very well. Like I can show you some of them. If you keep going down, you're going to see some of them like uh, most of the stocks uh, this is a classical two lynch kind of a setup right and so uh, there are a lot of those not OXM but like uh, I don't know what oil and gas stock but many of the oil and gas stocks had those kind of setups and if you look at those setups uh, they were like an a really the kind of setups uh, you want to get into basically right see DRQ this is a classical two lynch kind of a setup uh, which is like which had a proper breakout right here also it's a two lynch kind of a setup and the volume was higher also so those are those kind of setups were also showing up during this month why we had bottom bounces but so is there was there enough opportunity uh, in setups like this, this is a good setup plus nine months, uh, nine million kind of a uh, volume also actually it came in in the beginning of the month. So it was February, part of it was February. Uh, so those are some of the setup and then you had setups like this which were very difficult because 
on this particular day if you are looking at this setup are you going to take that kind of a setup on that particular day i mean there is nothing for me to get excited about a setup like this on that particular kind of a day but that kind of setup also works so there are variations of setup so i'm going to go through every one of these setups over the weekend and uh, i'm also going to look at the bearish side of this equation because it's not only the bullish side but i want to look at the bearish side of this equation where you had only 429 stocks so there are more bullish setup than bearish setup and here again i did the same uh, change for this particular thing 25 right and uh, look at what worked on the bearish side during this time period and is the setup idea which we have is it a valid setup idea or are there any variations of the setup idea one of the things which you will notice is that when you start doing deep dives or when you start studying markets is like first time you do it you only notice certain things so you do it fifth sixth hundred times like there is something which you might have missed many times before you suddenly discover or you suddenly notice that is how i discovered weak structure short as a setup idea and then i added it to my toolbox similarly bottom bounce is a setup idea which comes in from studying when the market turns which kind of stocks were showing up it were not the stocks which were holding up well but the stocks which were most beaten down kind of a thing so doing a deep dive on these kind of a periods can help you find something which you may not have looked at first time second time or third time so if you want to do this kind of a deep dive look at all the stocks which went up 20% plus in a 5 day period in the last one month and start and learn from them what is the first day move uh, was the first day move 4% was it 6% or in the setups which work was it 8% was it 10% and what was the nature of can uh, like we have a condition like two inch but that may not capture all the breakout what kind of a condition we can create or what kind of a checklist we can create to find some of these bottom bounds or reversal kind of setups and that is the kind of exercise which helps you build new setups and build confidence in your ability to do this successfully so uh, as far as i am concerned i am going to do this deep dive on the weekend